guys, welcome back to the Sullivan family. So it's a little bit of a different one today. Um, we have been contacted by a company, company? <laughs> company called Jimmy or Jimmy Europe. They're Jimmy Global, but we were contacted by their European department um, to give an, well, an honest review, really, do a review on their one of their vacuum cleaners. <clears throat> um, they do quite a lot. They've, they've got quite a big range of, of different ones. Um, but this is the one that we've been gifted. This is the H9 Pro cordless vacuum cleaner. Um, so we've spoken about Hoover's or vacuum cleaners, sorry, vacuum cleaners before, I'm sure. We vacuum every day in this house, every day, sometimes twice a day, the Hoover gets used. We've got a little tiny handheld for just cleaning up around the table after meals but the whole house gets hoovered every single day. So it's something that is real necessity in this house. I used to have a Dyson and actually I've had a couple of Dysons over the years and they were good. Don't get me wrong, I liked my Dysons. The customer care was brilliant, but we struggled with the Dyson with, obviously we've got teenage girls well, and the younger ones as well, but they've all got very long hair. So there was hair everywhere. There's always hair everywhere. And we struggled with the Dyson picking up the hair. So I got a shark because um, they do the anti-hair wrap thing, technology, technology, whatever it is, on their hoover. So I got a shark and I really liked my shark. I'm on my second shark because my first one broke. I can't remember why, but I think it might have been our fault. But anyway, so I, I really, really like my shark. Um, it's, it's kind of, it's easy to use. Um, it's easy to clean and it's easy to take apart. So this one has got really good reviews compared to the Shark. So I'm going to be honest. We're going to be, you know, it's going to be a completely honest review. Um, we weren't necessarily in the market for a new Hoover because as I said, we were, you know, we were, we were happy with the, the performance on our Shark. So I'm going to be comparing this one basically to our Shark. Don't ask me what, which one I've got because I can't remember. Um, so like I said, this one's got pretty good reviews. Um, so we're going to get it out. We're going to open it up, see what it's like. And I'm going to use it for about a week and then come back and finish off the rest of the video. So I can give it a, a kind of an honest, an honest review. So I don't want to review something, but um, I'm just going to go, yeah, look, it's great. It's wonderful. And, you know, who knows? I want to, you know, give an honest, honest account of how it performs. And like I said, we move it every or vacuum every single day. So it's going to get it's going to get put through its paces. So we're going to open it up and see what it's like. So Ben is my glamorous assistant. I'm the glamorous assistant today. He's going to help me put it together because I pretty much have no idea what I'm doing. No, I haven't at the moment. <laughs> get the instructions out. When it comes to putting things together, I don't know what I'm doing. I just normally give them Sorry. to Ben. So can I open up? I must admit, actually, it's quite light. Um, and compact, I thought. And they sent it really fast as well. It was here within a couple of days. Yeah, two sent days. It really fast. It was. It was all done online. Sent. I think it retails. It retails around. It's very loud. Sorry. Sorry. It retails at around three seventy five. I think something like that. So the same. It's a similar sort of price as, as all the other kind of um, vacuums on the market of, of the same kind of performance. This one is actually cordless, and that's something that we haven't tried before because I've always worried with cordless ones because I use it every single day um, and, like, the whole house gets hoovered in the evenings. Um, I worried about runtime, you know, battery length on, on it. Would it be long enough to get around the house? Because nothing worse than getting halfway around the house and then your vacuums run out. So that'll be, I've always normally used cord, used, used cord, corded ones yeah. for that very reason that, you know, sometimes I use it like this morning, I've been cleaning upstairs. So I've used the vacuum upstairs this morning and then I'd have to come down and use it this evening downstairs. So would it have enough power battery time to do both without putting it on charge in between? So that's something else that we'll be reviewing as well is, is you know, what is the, the battery? I think it says something like it's 80, 80 minutes, any 80 minutes run time, it says. Um, that's quite a lot, to be fair. Which is quite a lot. I mean, that's that would do me... When I'm doing upstairs, doing the bedrooms, I'm, you know, hoover the mattresses. These are the things that I can test with it as well. You know, with, with the shark, you can take the... We've got the um, lift off 
bit so you can do the stairs and the mattresses and things like that so i i do those um so it's you know does it this one's got a flexible bit in it as well apparently so it can get underneath things um up high those sorts of things so i'll be i'll be looking at all of that anyway cool. Oh, let's get it open. Could you just use the scissors? I should have got some scissors, should I? Right, we're open. It's like Christmas. Oh, Christmas. Christmas. Christmas come early. Ooh. Ooh. What's that? Well, it's, it's all nicely packaged. And everything's, everything's covered in these little baggies there. So that's quite good. I don't know what any of the bits are. Instructions. I have to say, it's it's as nicely packaged. the charge stand. Yeah, it's, it's as nicely packaged as like the Shark or the Dyson when they arrive in the past, the ones that they've had in the past. Right, let's have a look at this. I'm guessing that's the trudgy bit. Look, on the table so you can see what we've got. Oh, some screws. Well, I've got the instructions. It's quite a, it's quite a good instruction book, right? Oh, I hate that story. Okay. I'm just going to go get a screwdriver. Bit. Ooh. Oh, look, it's my favourite colour. I don't know if you can see that. They knew my favourite colour. It's like rose gold. I might even get Olivia to do the hoover right now. My hoover's rose gold because that's her favourite colour too. Look, it's rose gold. Are you kidding me? Actually, well, I, I didn't even it's know. It's more pink than rose gold, but. I didn't even know what the colour was going to be. Oh, it's got some nice That's attachments. like your favourite colour ever. Oh, that's a nice attachment. That's a nice brushy bit. It's the other thing with, um, is having the attachments. I use my thingy attachment, you know, the, the, the nozzle, that's the one. Um, on my other hoover quite a lot. And I also use the... The stairs one as well. So that's look at that's a big one. But sometimes you find I know English. with the Dyson especially, um, you end up having to buy all the extra tools separately and they're not cheap. So this one, by the looks of it, comes with lots of extra extra bits. That looks like one of the pets. You should have lots tools. of different things with it. Oh look, that's a, that's oh, an actual mattress one. Electric mattress head. <gasps> I hoover my mattresses, people think I'm crazy, but I hoover my mattresses every time we change the beds. Um, and like the kids have got waterproof, or the little kids have got waterproof sheets on their beds. And every time we take the waterproof sheets up, it's I hoover the bed. actual mattress oh, as well. Um, because Olivia is asthmatic, um, so I've always had to hoover her mattress anyway because of dust mites and everything else. So it's just something that I've always done is hoover everybody's, after every bed change, I hoover everyone's mattress off. It's just, you'd be amazed at how much stuff you get up hoovering your mattress every single time. It's pretty gross. Um, but to actually have a proper tool to do it with, that's really cool. I'm well impressed with that. So I'm just starting, the, the instructions are telling me, as you can see, on the first couple of pages, there's your English instructions uh, to build the charging unit at the bottom, which is pretty straightforward to be honest. I'm just taking all the bits out. Yeah, you just take all the bits out, I'll do this bit. So, two screws in there, the face. It's very well packaged. Look at that. What's this one? Oh, this is a little thingy one, you know, like the nozzle one. If you want technical names for things, don't come to me. I just know them as the brush thingy and the other. That's like my Dyson used to have. I think I might just don't break it already. Oh, it's got, oh, look. So it comes with this one, which is the brush, and um, I can't get it back down again. 
Sorry, I've just got the world's worst screwdriver. Excuse me a minute. How do I get that back down? Something like that. So with the, the nozzle and then with the brush that you can push up, it's also got one thin one, because I use this one quite a lot. Um, so that's got a brush on it too. So that's three, that's four different attachments. It's got four different attachments. Big brushy one, two little brushy ones. That's quite a lot of, um, Mean that you can take this little bit off as well. That's quite cool. I'm assuming that you can take this little bit off um, as well and use it. Obviously, we'll have to, you know, go through it all properly and see what bit does what. Because this is the first, you know, first time we've looked at it as, as we're looking at it with you guys. So. I'm back. Oh, look. Is that the battery pack? Oh, yeah. Cozy, cozy bit. It's quite, do you know what? It's quite a solid base. So that was the first bit there, just putting two screws in the bottom. So that was easy enough. And then this is the next bit here. So that's Ooh. the middle bit. So this is the normal floor head. So that goes around that way. A bit, which is quite cool. Two screws in there. And a plug. Plug. Okay. Whoops. Okay, that bit's a little, this bit's a little bit more fiddly. That bit. Oh, this is another roller head. I don't know what the difference is between that one and that one. I will have to read the instructions to see what's the difference between the two heads. One. Well, because I did read somewhere that um, it's got the same kind of anti-hair wrap technology as the shark, which is a good thing because the girl's hair gets everywhere and it gets tangled on everything. Um, so I really need a good hoover to get it all up. Are you still using the instructions? Yep. I should look up on my phone. You can take the instructions. You just said you were still using them? Yeah, well, I, I am. We can share them. See what the um the magnets of one of <laughs> the magnets don't work in my screwdrivers anymore. They're so old. So it says 17 is the carpet brush roll. 13 is the mattress head. Five is the floor head release button. So what is the I'm thinking that one's just like for, maybe that one's just for normal like hard floors or something and that one's for the rest of because that's then carpets carpet brush roll mm. oh no technical names now so that is actually a, a two-in-one upholstery tool that wide one and that one is a two-in-one crevice tool Ooh. There you go, I know that. Okay, I'm not going to lie, this is quite fiddly, this little bit. Just getting those two screws in the back. That's why I leave it to you. That is quite fiddly. So I think we will have to charge it before we use it as well. So this is just going to be like the putting together part and seeing what we've got part. Right, hang on. Yeah, so... Do, 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 do. Oh, we've got it to blue tack, that'll do it. Blue tack. 
Right, so clean hard floor tile or carpet with the electric floor head. Carpet brush roll can be replaced to the floor head to clean long hair carpet. Just a little tip, if you find it hard to get a screw in to a hole, you can always do that if your magnets run out. A bit of blue tuck. Or you could buy a new screwdriver with a magnet that works. There we go, it's in, done. So that was the only tricky bit then, for me then, was that, that screen. That's in now. There you go, so that's those two bits in. There's two little screws there going in. They were, they were quite deep to get your screws in, so that blue tuck is a good tip. I am just right. still trying and to find out if that is... This is the charging head at the top then, wasn't it? So that's the last bit and the last two screws. And they're easy to get in. So that is to charge the battery. That's the battery charge stand. Uh-huh. So that goes in there. And then I'm guessing the battery goes in here. And I'm guessing the filters are already built in. Oh, yeah. You've got a HEPA filter. Um which you can take out and clean. You can take them out and clean them. They're sharp as well. They're a bit of a nightmare because they do take ages to dry. But um, the sharp's also got the smaller um, filters as well, which you can take out and wash. That's the one, one of the things I do like about the sharp, actually, is that you can completely take it apart. You can wash the filters um, really easily. So that's quite, it's always quite handy. I think that's just got the one filter in it. A man read the instructions. <laughs> I'm missing a bit. Don't say anything. I'm just trying to find if that one is the specifically for like on this as well, you just press, you just pull that to unlock it, and that comes out. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so don't make that mistake that I've just done. Read the instructions. So if you pull that bit, and that bit comes out. Yeah, so it's got 80 minutes run time. It's got an eco mode, a turbo mode, and a max mode. So on eco mode, it's got 80 minutes. On turbo mode, it's got 30 minutes. And on max mode, it's got 17 minutes. So I guess it depends what you're hoovering and um, how much you're going to be doing. By the looks of it, this is actually a handheld bit as well, which is actually quite... That's cool, yeah, no. Cool. So I know. I actually saw that online. It looks really smart so that's for doing the car and all that kind of stuff. For doing little pieces, bits and pieces. Um, and the children come round and they, they'll, they'll hoover after a meal in here um, for us. Uh, so that's quite handy, so that'll be good for them to use. It says Jimmy has developed a combing structure on the floor head which can prevent pet human hair winding around the brush roll during cleaning. But I'm just not sure whether it's this one or this one that you're supposed to be using. Are they interchangeable? Well, you can change them, yeah. But this one says it's a carpet brush roll. Look, C17. Yeah. Carpet brush roll, but it doesn't say what this actual, the one that's in it is it looks like a sander but it says a floor electric floor head but that just looks like maybe something but i'm not sure if that's the one because it's got little grooves in i wonder if that's for hard floor well that's what i thought but it, it doesn't look like it is necessarily right that's right now there we go so that's right so that's the charging unit so what's next so that's 
that's that. Um, oh, here you go. Extra brush roll for deep cleaning, deep carpet cleaning. So this is equipped with a carpet brush roll for nylon hair, with nylon hair and rubber strip for deep cleaning of carpet. So this, the one that's in it, is your general one, which does have the apparently got the hair. Um, is it gone? So all the all all of your extra bits go on the charging dock by the looks of it. So is this all the bits? Is it? Uh, yeah. So yeah, it cleans hair without winding around the brush roll. So this normal one apparently um, prevents pet human hair winding around this one, and I think it senses as well different. Um, it's got auto adjust for different floor types. So um, it can recognize different floor types uh, for different cleaning tasks. I think the baby's just woken up. Um, so yeah, this one is obviously for extra deep cleaning on the carpets. Uh, so yeah, for deep, deep cleaning of your carpets. So it's got a soft, this is the soft brush, uh, soft brush for surfaces that need gen more gentle care, your two-in-one crevice tool, which is that one for narrow places, your two-in-one upholstery tool for furniture surfaces, so sofas and things like that. Um, I actually, that's another thing I do as well is hoover my sofa every night. Um, because obviously with lots of children on it every day and we're on in the evenings, you know, the younger ones are in there all day, the older ones are in there all evening, so it's constantly, constantly being used. Um, so I do hoover the sofa every night as well. It's really... When I actually speak out loud about the things that I do, I make myself sound like, sound like I'm crazy, but anyway. So. Oh, well, that's, yeah, okay. That's really quite stable. That's really quite stable. This bit in the middle, apparently, obviously we'll have to... That's, the, that's the elbow, isn't it? So it bends. There, look, you just push that, look. Yeah, See? so it can go underneath surfaces and stuff. So that was literally click and click on the top and that's you ready to go, pretty much. And that's now on the charging port. So the filters are all... This, this is a washable filter and brush roll. So Oh, that's actually quite good because you can clean the... You can wash the brush roll as well. Uh, easy, easy to disassemble brush roll, easy to disassemble, disassemble and washable, um, so that's quite good. So yeah, you've got your electric mattress head, which I'm really quite impressed with. Are you sure that goes on there? Yeah, well it's got, it well, it's, go there's a way you set it all up. Yeah. That'll go in there. Am I just coming along with shoving it in? <laughs> I don't know. What's that elbow for? What's that for? I don't know. So, so, oh, hang on. Hang, yeah, there's a, there's a bit. Oh, there you go, look. What's this bit for? That clunks in there, look. Oh. How cool is that? What's this bit for? Is that an extension? I think it might just, you have to, we'll have to read the instructions properly, won't you? It's we, a while, while you, But while you're using it throughout the week. So, we've got charging stand, battery pack, obviously, so battery charging is. holder, charger, so metal tube the handheld part which comes apart okay. uh electric floor head electric mattress cleaner all the tools that's this connector so maybe does that connect that to the hoover or something we'll have to read out um i'm guessing it does so the plug just the plug just literally slots in the back of the charging stand as well, so that's really easy. Just plug that into the wall. Let's move this a bit closer. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna move the camera. Is it all the accessories fit on this bit? So that's now plugged into the back of there. And then that? the battery. Well, all your all your accessories will go on the top of it. Like that. You know, it's just about the hosey bit. Well, I guess it's just. Um, what does it tell you? Yeah, it's like a little extender, isn't it? Oh, I know. 
Does that go on? For me? doing the hard to reach places. So you take that off, put it on there. Yeah? Are we, are we just guessing? We need yeah, to, we need to find guessing. out, don't we? We're not guessing, we're going to find out. Okay. And also the battery needs to go in as well, so. But that needs charging first, yeah. obviously. Oh, right, okay. It says it's got two types of option one charger base no need to hang on the vacuum on the wall option two separate charger for battery pack yeah so so there are your two options so you can either have the power lead plugged into the back of the stand so it just charges when it goes so on the it stand. so it charges on the stand because that battery is obviously going to go into the into the uh or i call it the product the battery out. and um, then that's your base charger for the battery if you just want to use it as a handheld or whatever else so you've got two options so you can take the battery out and charge it or you can charge yep. it in the hoover so i think we'll charge it in the hoover i think we'll charge it in the hoover because it's already made up so let me just put the battery in a sec so the battery goes click 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 that's all done that's all done and then Hard, there's a hard floor brush roll and a carpet brush roll. No, 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 no. That's no. It's, that's got also it, it it adjusts itself. Okay. I read it on here. It's also got filters as well. Yeah. Okay, so I've raised it up again because I'm trying to show you where the battery goes. So right at the very top. So the Hoover's now on its stand. Yeah. Stop saying Hoover, Ben. Vacuum so cleaner. So the vacuum cleaner. The Jimmy vacuum cleaner is on its stand, right? So, and the battery, there's the battery there. You see those two connectors. All it literally does is, it's got a little um, track that it slides on and that's it. So that will be now be charging or you've got the other option of that. So you can charge it through that. Um, and that's really simple. So the whole thing really is very well put together. I think it's very well put together. And I think, and I think there's, there's every tool you can think of, to be honest. Apparently the stretchy host thing is for when you're using the handheld, that you can obviously, it'll stretch longer to like, for, you know, on top of things and stuff. But we'll work the rest out. What we'll do is we'll, we'll use it. Um, like I said, we'll use it for like a week. Mm -hmm. um, we'll film different bits and pieces when we're using it and see what, how it compares really to what we're, what we're used to. But we'll try and, um, show everybody how all the bits work as well um but yeah so far i'm quite impressed it seems to be quite easy to to do everything with so yeah just after and it was only it was only six screws just remember to just remember to read the instructions and put the middle bit in that middle bit it was fairly simple though to put yeah, together it it's got all the tools that you could need so now it's just you know it all fits quite compactly on the stand as well it's it's you know We'll fit somewhere quite easily. Um, so yeah, we'll just... And it was nicely packaged. We'll start using it and show you what to do and how it goes.
so the verdict on the Jimmy H9 Pro, um, I, I like it. It's pretty good, I must admit. Um, as I said at the beginning, you know, we went in the market for a new, a new vacuum, but this one's pretty good. Um, I'm quite impressed. So I've never used a cordless vacuum before, mainly because I've always thought they weren't really suitable for our house because we hoover all the time. You know, we've got lots of girls with long hair, so I've always thought they're not going to be powerful enough to do what we needed to do, basically. But I've actually been proved wrong because I've been using this one upstairs mainly because that's kind of where we've put the dock for it um, at the moment, just so I could make sure I tested it out every day. It's been really handy just being able to take it off, hoover up, put it back on the dock without having to plug it in anywhere or um, or anything like that. I've even found the kids upstairs taking it off hoovering and just putting it back on the dock. It's been really handy to just have the little handheld that you can just take apart and just quickly use to hoover around. Um, it's, I'm, I'm quite impressed with how powerful it is. It's really, really lightweight. So my first impression was like, oh, it's really lightweight. That's not gonna pick anything up, but it actually has picked up, you know, everything I've put in front of it. Um, it's really easy to empty, you just literally take the top off, empty the cup out really easy. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm overall, I'm quite impressed. It's really versatile. You can get to everything. I like the fact that it's got like a really soft brush. So even doing the boys room when I was doing the Lego, I mean, Lego just drives me insane because we normally have to dust it with like a little makeup brush, but I could actually, the brush on this, the soft brush was, was soft enough and it doesn't suck up the Lego or anything. So it was soft enough to use to just literally dust over the top of things. So it's been really handy. And it's, like I said, it's really lightweight. It's really versatile. It's really simple to use. Um, so yeah, I definitely, I definitely go for a cordless again. I didn't think it would be something that I would enjoy using if you can enjoy using a vacuum, but I didn't think it, I just always thought they wouldn't be suitable for us because of the house we've got, because of the kids we've got, you know, because we've, we kind of have to do everything on an industrial scale, if you like, but I'm, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with this one to be honest so we've been given a discount code um, for this model for the h9 pro so you can go on to um, their website i'll give you the discount code so we've we've got well it's a, it's in america it's in dollars so it's a 75 dollar discount which i think works out at about 65 66 pounds something like that um so we'll put the code in the video description as well, but the code is FAMILY75. Um, so it starts on, oh, what was that? Ends on, sorry, the 31st of December. So you've got until the 31st of December. Um, so that's pretty. That's a pretty good discount off of it actually. And they do deliver to the UK. You know, they kept, like I said, they came, they delivered to us really, really fast. Overall, if you're looking for a new vacuum, it's a pretty good, I'm pretty impressed. It's pretty good. I'm, I'm, I'd go for this one for sure. So yeah, I'll put the, the link, uh, the link and to their website and the code and everything in the video description below. Um, so yeah. Right. So that's it really. Um, a bit of a different one from us again this time, but you know, we like to put in the, the different things when, when we can, especially when it's something that we feel is quite beneficial and that is a good product to have. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. Don't forget to drop us a like and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Check out our link tree for all of our other links and look in the video description below for the links for this one and for the discount code for this um, H9 Pro as well. Um, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.